we have already seen how can we add two mixed fractions. Now let us see how we can subtract them. Well, subtracting mixed fraction is very similar to adding them. Instead of adding the numerators, we simply need to subtract the numerators. Let us see how we can do that. So first, I need to convert them into improper fractions. So 5, 3 by 4. Now what is 5, 3 by 4? So I need to convert 5, 3 by 4, which is a mixed fraction, into an improper fraction. So this is equal to 4 into 5 plus 3 divided by 4. Now 4 into 5 is 20. 20 plus 3 is 23. So this is 23 by 4. I also need to convert 2, 2 by 5 into improper fraction. So 2, 2 by 5 is equal to 5 into 2 plus 2 plus 2 of the numerator divided by 5. So this is equal to 12 by 5. Now I have two improper fractions which are equal to these two mixed fractions. So instead of adding these two mixed fractions, I can add these two improper fractions. So this is equal to 23 by 4 minus 12 by 5. Now, how can I subtract them? As we can see, these are unlike fractions. So first, I need to find the LCM of the denominators. So the LCM of 4 and 5 is equal to 20. Now, 4 into 5 is 20. So I need to multiply 23 by 5. Now, what is 23 into 5? It is 1. 1, 5. 5 into 4 is 20. So I need to multiply 12 by 4, which is 48. Now, since this is subtraction, I need to subtract the numerators. That is why there is this subtraction sign here. So I need to have 1, 1, 5 minus 48. Now what is 1, 1, 5 minus 48? So 115 minus 48 is 67 and I have 20 in the denominator. So 67 by 20, this is the answer of the subtraction. But since the question was given in terms of mixed fraction, I again need to convert this into mixed fraction. So 67 divided by 20. Now 20 into 3 is 60 and the remainder is 7. So this is equal to 3, 7 by 20. And this is the answer of subtraction. So 5, 3 by 4 minus 2, 2 by 5 is 3, 7 by 20. Now can you subtract these two? Now instead of subtracting them by converting to improper fractions, I can break it into two parts. That is 4, 2 by 7 can be written as 4 plus 2 by 7 and 1, 1 by 2 can be written as 1 plus 1 by 2. This gives us 4 plus 2 by 7 minus 1 since this is one entire number, so I need to subtract 1, 1 by 2. So this is minus 1, minus 1 by 2. Now what is 4 minus 1? So I need to consider the sign before 1. So 4 minus 1, what is 4 minus 1? 4 minus 1 is 3. And... I have 2 by 7 minus 1 by 2. So we consider the sign before the number. So 4 and 1 has a minus sign before this. So I need to subtract 1. 
4 minus 1 gives me 3. Then I have 2 by 7. And 1 by 2 has again. And 1 by 2 again has a minus sign before it. So I need to subtract it. So I need to subtract 1 by 2 from 2 by 7. Now these are unlike fractions. So the LCM of 7 and 2 is 14. 7 into 2 is 14. Now 2 into 2 is 4. 2 into 7 is 14. So 1 into 7 is 7. So I have 3. Now this will give me minus 3 by 14. Now plus minus is equal to minus. So I'll have minus 3 by 14. Now how can I write this in terms of mixed fraction? If I have 3 plus 3 by 14, I can write it as 3, 3 by 14. But over here it is 3 minus 3 by 14. So how can I write it as mixed fraction? So 3 can be written as 2 plus 1. So I have 2 plus 1 minus 3 by 14. Now 1 minus 3 by 14. 1 minus 3 by 14 gives us 11 by 14. So I have 2 plus 11 by 14. Now what is 2 plus 11 by 14? It is 2, 11 by 14. So this is a mixed fraction. So this is the answer when we subtract these two mixed fractions. So if you use this method of splitting the mixed fraction into two parts, you have to be very careful. Especially in the case of subtraction. Why? Because this fraction which you are getting over here, it might have a negative numerator. And if the numerator is negative, which is minus 3 in this case, then you will get 3 minus 3 by 14. Now you cannot write this as mixed fraction. So what do you do? This 3 can be written as 2 plus 1. So you take out 1 from this 3 and subtract 3 by 14 from 1. So this is 2 plus 1 minus 3 by 14. Now this 1 minus 3 by 14 is equal to 11 by 14. And 2 plus remains the same. So 2 plus and then 1 minus 3 by 14 becomes 11 by 14. So 2 plus 11 by 14 is 2 11 by 14. So you can either subtract the mixed fractions by converting them into improper fractions and then again converting the answer to the mixed fraction or you can subtract them by splitting it into two parts, the natural number part and the fraction part. But you have to be very careful if you get a negative numerator. So practice different problems of this type till you are comfortable with it. If you like this video, then subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all the learning resources as per CBSC, ICSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures on maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve the slightest of your doubts. And that's not all. You can also win exciting prizes like Playstations, iPads, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at deltastep.com, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.